Hello everybody and welcome to Appalachian Cemetery Hunting with Robin. Today we are looking at the Greer Lambert Family Cemetery in Cleveland County, Tennessee. It is located north of Tazewell, just off of Highway 25E on Goins Chapel Road as shown on this map. And I'll give you a little while to look at it. The first burial was in 1942, and there are several people of the Crutchfield family buried here. And this was my mom's maiden, but I'm not sure if any of these people are related to her. There are only 26 people buried here, so let's get started. First, we have Ira Franklin Bacon, 1924-2000, and his wife, Opal Christine Lambert Bacon, 1928-2012. You'll notice there is no death date for her on their headstone. This is because the photo was taken in 2009 before she passed away. Ira served in the United States Navy during World War II as an aviation radio man, second class. Next, we have Frank J. Carpenter, 1921 to 2002 and his wife, Beatrice Cadle Carpenter, 1925 to 2007. Frank was a Baptist minister, as well as a Tennessee state trooper. Now that's a combination. Now we have George Ray Chapman, 1933 to 1980. He served as a private first class in the United States Army during the Korean War. Now we have Ben Tipton Crutchfield, 1918 to 2004, and his wife, Verdi Geneve Klein Crutchfield, 1921 to 2013. And Ben served with the United States Army during World War II. Here's a picture of her with her parents, brother and sister. Verdi is the one in the striped socks but I do not know the date this photo was taken. Next, we have James Alfred Crutchfield. He went by Nappy, 1884 to 1961. <clears throat> and his wife, Martha M. Collingsworth Crutchfield, 1887 to 1973. Nappy is on the far right of this picture smoking a pipe gather at a fire that was blowing down molasses in the 1940s. The photograph was taken by Joe Clark, Hillbilly Snapshooter, who we talked about in a previous video. And this video is from the Clark Family Photo Collection. Next, we have James Lewis Crutchfield, 1911 to 1974, and his wife, Pansy Marie Williams Crutchfield. 1911 to 1984. Next is Joe Neal Crutchfield, 1921 to 1985. Next is Anderson Lafayette Greer, who went by fate, 1896 to 1953. Now we have Frida Catherine McDaniel Greer, 1925 to 2018. Next is John G. Greer, 1873 to 1942. And his wife, Susan Ollie Poor Greer, 1877 to 1948. And here is a photo of her. Next, we have Virgil W. Lambert, 1913 to 1995 and his wife, Edith Edmondson Lambert, 1924 to 2019. And here's a photo of them in 1942, right after they got married. Virgil served as a private in the United States Army, Army excuse me, during World War II. And here's a picture of Edith later in life. 
Now we have Elizor Lambert, and I hope I pronounced that first name right. It's spelled E-L-E-Z-O-R. <clears throat> Excuse me. 1891 to 1976. And his wife, Nettie Catherine Greer Lambert, 1894 to 1956. Next, we have Jerry Wayne Lambert, 1948 to 2009. And he served as a Specialist Four in the United States Army during the Vietnam War. Next, we have Otie Gladys Lambert, 1915 to 1917. Now we have Charles Burton Lister, 1931 to 2002, and his wife, Vivian Josephine Lambert Lister, 1943 to 2021. And you'll notice there is no death date for her on their headstone. Here's a picture of her. And Charles served as a private in the United States Army during the Korean War. Next, we have Ellen Beatrice Crutchfield Marshall, 1909 to 1994. And here is Margaret Jane Sturgill Miley. She went by Maggie, 1903 to 1953. This photo was taken around 1919 and shows her with her first husband, Henry Washington Ridley, their son, Eddie Merle Ridley, and his two other children, who he had by Mary Cook, and their names were Arthur and Leona. And there is one grave with no picture of a headstone, and it's the grave of Yvonne May White Whelan, 1947-2015. And that will finish up the Greer Lambert Family Cemetery. We sincerely hope you have liked this video. Please hit the like, subscribe, and share. Folks, we'd like to ask you to please continue to pray for all those who have been affected by the recent hurricanes. And until we see you next time, Take care.